our dear students, we are going to study lesson seven in unit one, solving equations. You know these remarks. What meant by equations? The equation is a mathematical statement which contains one variable as x or more as x and y and it contains equal equality relation between we can say that 2x equals 6 is an equation x plus 3 equal uh, 5 is equation 2x minus y equal 3 is equation also x squared equal 25 is an equation the degree of equation is determined by the highest degree of the terms forming this equation for example if if uh, if we have 5x plus 2 equals 7, this equation is of the first degree because the highest power of the variable x is 1. x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0 is of second degree because the highest power is 2 for the unknown x. And also 2x plus 3y equals 5 is equation of the first degree because the two unknowns x and y is of first degree having power one. Generally, if A and B also C are three rational numbers, then these numbers have the following properties. If we can say that A equal B, so A plus C equal B plus C, also A plus C equal B plus C, then the uh, inverse a equal b number three if a equal b so we can say that if we multiply the two sides by the same constant or the same number so a times c equal b times c number four if a times c equal b times c then we can say that a equals b Solve each of the following equations and find the solution set. If x plus 17 equals 13, where x belong to n, the natural number. As we studied before, we can say that to find the value of x as a variable, we must get rid of the number added or subtracted from a this variable. So we must add for the both side the additive inverse of the number beside this x. By adding a negative 17 for the both sides, so it will be x plus 17 minus 17 equal 13 minus 17, which is equal, yes, x equal negative 4. So the solution set, yes. When we say that x belong to n, Look at n and remember the natural number have no negative numbers. So the solution set here will be 5. Okay. Another example. If x plus 21 equal 8, find the value of x or the solution set of this equation where x belong to z as a natural the uh, integers number x plus 21 equal 8. By the same way, we take the additive inverse of 21 to add it to the both sides we have. So it will be x plus 21 minus 21 equals 8 minus 21 as follows. Okay. So it will be x equal 8 minus 21, which is equal negative 13. So the solution set, we know that uh, z, yes, the integer numbers have the positive and negative and zero. So x here belong to z, negative 13 belong to z, and the solution set will be negative 13, okay? Another example, x equal uh, uh, minus three and half equal five, and x belong to q, the rational numbers we studied in the first term. The solution here, by the same way, by adding three and a half for the both sides, the additive inverse of negative three and a half for the both sides. After adding this number, it will be 
x minus 3 and the half plus 3 and the half equal 3 and the half plus 5. Okay. So x will be 8 and the half, which it belong to Q. So the solution set will be 8 and half as a rational number. Solve the equation 5x plus 8 equal 13 minus 2x. In this example, we must have the variables in one side and the number in the other side. Okay? Also, x belongs to q. First step in this solution will be uh, by writing the, equations again, the equation again to get 5x plus 8 equal 13 minus 2x. By adding positive 2 for the 2x for the both sides to get right of negative 2x from the uh, right hand side. So we get 5x plus 8 plus 2x equal 13 minus 2x plus 2x. So it will be in the form. Yes. After that, we must get right of 8 from the left hand side to be with 13 in the right hand side. So by adding, yes, negative 8 for the both sides, yes, it will be 5x plus 2x equals 7x, 8 minus 8 equal 0, the right hand side will be 13 minus 8 which is equal 5. So 7x equal 13 minus 8 Yes, equal 5, so 7x will be 5, and x then by dividing by 7 for the both sides to get x equal 5 over 7. So the solution set will be 5 over 7. Another example, 2 times x plus 3 equal 4, where x belongs to that, okay? First, we must divide by 2 for the both sides. It will be x plus 3 equal 4 divided 2 equal 2. So x plus 3 equals 2. So it will by adding negative 3 for the both sides to get right of uh, 3 from the left hand side to get x only. Yes, it will be x equal 2 minus 3 equal negative 1. So the solution set will be negative 1 because negative 1 belong to z. <coughs> Number six, x plus five equals two, where x belongs to n, okay? By adding negative five for the both sides, so the additive inverse of five, so it will be x equal two minus five, which is equal negative three, but negative three not belong to the natural number n, so the solution set will be five, okay? Using equations in solving word problems, first we, s we must know these verbal statements and uh, converting it in algebraic expressions uh, to use it, uh, them in word problems as we will say in the examples next. Okay, first one, if we know that two numbers and that their sum is mine, so we let uh, have x as a variable. Uh, and this x will be a number of them and the other number will be 9 minus x so when adding x and 9 minus x we get 9 so the two numbers will be x and 9 minus x another statement the two numbers and the difference between them are 4 so the numbers will be x and x minus 4 or x and the x plus 4 okay by subtracting these numbers we get 4 
two numbers and their product is 10. So it will be x and 10 over x. If we say that three consecutive even numbers, so the numbers will be th three consecutive even, consecutive and even numbers. Let the first one is x, so the second even number will be x plus 2, and the third will be x plus 4. Also, the three consecutive odd numbers will be the same, x and x plus 2, and x also plus 4. If we say we have three consecutive integers only, not even or odd, it will be x and x plus 1. The last one will be x plus 2. If we say two numbers one of them is third the other, one of them is third the other. So if we can say the first is x, so the other will be one third x, or three x and x. So the two numbers here, one of them is third the other. First example, Two natural numbers, one of them is third, the other. If the sum of them is 16, find the two numbers. Yes. Let the number be, the first number be, yes, x, and the second number is 3x. We know the sum of them is 16, so 3x plus x will be 16. And this is the equation we Construct, okay? 3x plus x equals 16, so 4x equals 16. By dividing uh, the both sides by 4, so x will be 16 but divided 4 equal 4. So the first number will be 4 and the second number will be 12. And exactly we know that 4 and 12 having the sum 16 and one of them is third the other. 4 is third, yes, 12. Another example, for, uh, before uh, our example, we must remember that the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times length plus width. The perimeter of a square is side length times 4. The perimeter of the triangle, okay, is the sum of all sides we have. Also, the area of triangle is half the base length times the height. The sum of the measure of the interior angles of the triangle equals 180. Let's have uh, an example. A rectangle with length equals twice its width and its perimeter is 18 centimeter. Find the dimensions of this rectangle. First, we must know that the length of this rectangle is twice the width. Let we have the length be 2x. So the width will be x, yes, x centimeter. By using the rule of the perimeter of rectangle, which is equal the length plus width times 2, yes, substituting the length by 2x and the width by x, in this equation, so we get 2x plus x times 2 equals 18. By dividing the both sides by 2, so 2x plus x will be, yes, 18 divided 2 equals 9. And the left-hand side will be 2x plus x, which is equal 3x. 3x equal 9, so x will be 3. And this is the width, so the length will be 2 times 3 equals 6, yes. And this example, oh, exactly have the length is twice the width because the length is 6 and the width is 3. Thank you for listening this lesson today, and this is the end of our lesson today.